So hey, welcome back to TV Tech. So you're back with a new interesting video. So in this video, we're going to be seeing how to install Chrome OS on your PC of 2021 with simple steps. So all you need to do is follow the steps one by one. So let's not waste the time and quickly get into the videos. If you're new to this channel, please do subscribe to the channel for more technical and interesting videos. So all you need to do to install Chrome OS on your PC is follow the steps one by one. So in this video, I'll be clearly teaching you how to install Chrome OS. So let's not waste the time and quickly see how to do it. So to install Chrome OS on your PC, all you need to do is download few files. So I'll be giving you all the links in the description as you can see. So click on one by one link and start downloading. So these are the files you need to be having to install Chrome OS on your PC. So firstly, let us quickly open all the tabs. So the first one is the Linux and next is the Rufus for booting and next one is the branch framework. So this is used for booting. And the next one is the notepad. So this is install.sh. So you need to save this file and next finally is the Chrome OS. So firstly, let us download the Linux. So all you need to do is scroll down and you can find the option called Cinnamon. Just tap on it. So once it is done, it opens to you the new page. So here you could find the option called Canada. So don't click on that. So in the next top one, you can find the option called World. So here you need to click on Lay Online. So once you click, your download is ready. So the file is downloaded. And next thing is the Rufus. So just go to the Rufus site and download it. You need to scroll down again and you can find the download link. So just click on that and it's just 1 MB. You need to wait. So once it is done, you're ready to boot. So next one is the branch. So this helps you to boot. So you could find an option call or you could find a tab called branch table. So you just need to go on that and tap. So once you tap on that, your file is ready to download. And the next one is the install.sh file. So you need to right click on that and click on save as. So once you click on save as, you could save wherever you want. So I'll just save it in the desktop. So once you're done, click on save. So this is done. And the next one is the important step to do. That is Chrome OS. So all you need to do is keep scrolling. So here you can find a world called Ramus. So until that creeps scrolling and once you find it, just stop it. So here's the Ramus. So and now you could find that this is Asus Chromebook. And now these are some versions of Chrome OS. So let me click on the 90 because 90 version is preferred one. So once your download is ready, almost your half of the work is done. So all you need to do is now boot your file or boot your USB. So almost half of the work is done. Now as you can see, the files are getting downloaded. So one by one, all the files are getting downloaded. So once you do that, I'll teach you what to do in the next step. So until that, we need to really have some patience and you need to have a good internet connection. So as you can see, all the files are downloaded. So these are some important files you need to really have. So for easy understanding, let me copy all the files and paste it in the desktop. So once it is done, firstly, let us open the Rufus. So make sure you connect a USB device. So let me open the Rufus and burn the device. So here you could find my devices detected. So once it is done, you need to select the image. So which image? So that is the Linux. So I'll go to the desktop and select the Linux Mint which you downloaded. So once it is done, you just click on start. So once you click on start, just click on OK, yes and you're ready to boot your device. As you can see, my device is now ready. So let me minimize this or close this. And now all you need to do is extract the files. Now you could find the two WinRAR files in your desktop. So let me close this and you can find two different WinRAR files. So firstly, let me extract this. So just right click and click on extract here. So once the extraction is completed, you need to go with the next one. So once the extraction is done, all you need to do is create a folder called Chrome OS and paste all the required files in the Chrome OS. So as you can see, I'm going to paste all the important files in the Chrome OS. So that is the Chrome image and the two files which is extracted. So for more understanding, let me open the folder. So these are the important files to boot. So what you need to do here. So here's an important step you need to follow. So that is you need to rename the file. So you could find it as Chrome Ramus Chrome OS Ramus underscore recovery stable channel underscore MP version 2 point dot bin. So here you need to change it as Ramus underscore recovery dot bin. So all you need to do that. So this is one of the most important step you need to follow. So if you skip this step and your file won't get installed. And the next thing you need to do is copy the Chrome OS file which you have created in the desktop and paste it in your drive. So once your device is burnt, you just need to copy the Chrome OS file and paste it in your drive. So you just need to paste it in your drive which you have booted over your bootable disk. 
So once the copying is done, all you need to do is eject your device and insert it in your PC. So now I'll show you how to do it one by one. Now all you need to do is eject your device and insert it in your PC. Done. So to boot the device, you need to go to the BIOS and boot. So if you have on a high end system, you could directly boot, but I have a low end system, so I'm going to do in that. So all you need to do is press F2 and enter BIOS. So if you have a boot manager, just click on F2. So just go to the end part and you could find the drive called the HP. So I'll just go there and click on enter. So once I click on enter, the device is ready to boot or the PC is ready to boot. So here comes the Linux. So you need to enter in the Linux and then install the Chrome OS. So let me click on the start. So here comes the Linux Mint OS. So this is the first OS which I have downloaded. So now it is ready. And now all you need to do is install the Chrome OS. So I'll teach you how to do that. First thing you need to do is open file manager. So but before that make sure you have a good wireless connection or internet connection in your PC. So as you can see I have connected through a LAN cable. And now open file manager. So once you open file manager you could find an option called file system. So you need to enter that. And now you need to click on the search which is in taskbar. So go to search and type Chrome or you can even type Chrome OS. So here you could find a file called Chrome OS. So you need to enter and right click here. And you need to click on the option open in terminal. So here's an important step you need to do. That is you need to type sudo spacebar sh spacebar install.esh. So once you type this, you need to click on the enter. So I'll just put this on the screen. So as you can see now the Chrome OS is getting installed. So here you need to type that is YES. So in the last minute it will ask you are you sure you want to continue. So you need to type yes. So once you click on yes it will start installing as you can see. So in the final step you could see that Chrome OS is installed. So you need to type now sudo space by reboot. So in the first one I had made a spelling mistake. I'm sorry for that. Now once after you type sudo reboot your system gets reboot. And now you need to remove the installation medium. That is your pen drive. So once you remove the pen drive it automatically gets restarted. And your system is ready with the Chrome OS. As you can see a Chrome OS has finally been installed. We'll just see how it looks inside or we'll just see how is the options, the features given in the Chrome OS. But before getting into the OS, you need to sign in with your email ID and there's some few steps you need to follow to enter into the OS or enter into the setup. So we are all set now. Now you can rock your OS. So this is how the OS looks. It looks completely like an Android and it is an official OS by the Chrome or it is an official OS by the Android which is provided to the PC. So don't forget to subscribe DV Techies. So let me search DV Techies. So this is a channel DV Techies. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel. So if you're looking for more interesting videos, comment it down in the comment section. I will help you out. And if you have any doubts in installing the Chrome OS, comment it down. I'll surely help you and I'll respond to your comments. So this is the Chrome OS. So it has got a lot of features. So this is navigation bar. So we have message, mail, YouTube, Play Store. And we even have the file manager in the Chrome OS. And this is the mail. So this is YouTube and it is very fast. So you have low end system. Don't worry. You could install this OS and make your system even more faster. So this is a navigation bar. So that's all about the video. So I hope this video might be very helpful. So if you have any doubts in installing the Chrome OS, we have the comment section. So you could shoot out your questions or you could shoot out your doubts, whatever you have. So I'll clearly teach you how to do that. So I hope you all got to know how to install the Chrome OS on your PC. So if this video was interesting and helpful, please give the video a thumbs up, hit the like and subscribe button and suggest to watch it in the next video. Until then, stay tuned. This is Bishwa signing out from DV Techies.